you have that kind of confidence when it slows down, guys can make plays. And, and I think you know we, we really took the last couple of days prepared for how they play the pick and roll. And I think uh, that was something we were effective in uh, all game. We know how much you guys want to push the pace. Obviously, forcing turnovers is one way, but you got to run the floor. Yeah. Just definitely looks like you know, it's paid off for a number. Of I hope so. These practices we've been having, it better, it better be paying off. But to give up 80 points in the middle two quarters and to watch that lead evaporate and uh, still be able to win has to say something about the resiliency of you guys. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's kind of like my Seahawks last uh, last game. You know, it wasn't always pretty. We find a way to win at the end. Uh, no, it's you know I was just proud of, of the way, especially the guys that you know, like I said on defense. You know, we we adjusted at the end to switching things and the guys made plays there and then, and then the guys that gutted it out and went up to the line and knocked them down. You know. It's, uh, you know, everybody did their job. What does this to motivate you guys to prove everybody wrong? Big time. I mean, you know, we got, we got a lot of pride. The guys that have been here, uh, the guys that have been here that, that have done it, the, you know, the, the team, the holdovers, you know, we have a lot of pride. And the guys coming in do they want to prove themselves as players in this league. So, uh, you know, guys are in different stages of their careers, but I think Coach has done a good job of, of kind of getting us on the same page towards, you know, working towards the same thing and, and kind of channeling. So does this surprise you?